I just reported the possible Tesla battery uh, partnership looming between Tesla and an uh, Australian provider, battery supplies provider, Novonix. But in this report, I'm going to tell you why Tesla's single crystal cathode is so important ahead of the Tesla's battery day. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe because this is a developing story. We're keeping our finger on the pulse of Tesla battery day information and we'll report every single information information that comes and the good thing about this channel is that we have a very dedicated tesla community and thank you guys for sending me tips and information to report on this channel i that i greatly appreciate that so as the world waits for electric car pioneer tesla to reveal the secrets of longer lasting 1 million mile more efficient batteries as it's uh, at its upcoming tesla battery day it's worth brushing up on why several of tesla's patents have caught a great deal of impression attention including some of them uh, reported in this torque news channel tesla's tabless battery patent a lithium doping patent and a single crystal cathode patent are three patents that will potentially play key roles in more efficient and longer lasting electric car batteries arguably the most important of these is the single crystal cathode patent for tesla by dalhouse academic and head of the tesla battery research team jeff dunn in a paper published by Dunn and his team in the Journal of the Electrochemical Society regarding the significance of this single crystal cathode, he says, we conclude that cells of this type, of, um, this type should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1.6 million kilometers, one mile, one million mile batteries, and last at least two decades in grid energy storage. Imagine, we're talking about 20 years of um, battery life uh, it's not like you charge it once and it's battery life uh, 20 goes 20 years no i don't want you to be confused but it's like you know it can last that long you have because some uh, current batteries i think when you charge and, this, and you use the battery you charge and you use they go around 100 to 200 thousand miles but now we're talking about 1 million miles about five or 10, 5 to, uh, to 10 times more uh, battery lasting. Enabling an electric car battery to last a million miles will mean that the battery pack lasts as long as the electric car it powers. That means you don't have to change your electric car or your Tesla's battery as long as your car lives. According to Tesla CEO and co-founder Elon Musk, the electric vehicle maker's best-selling Model 3 is designed to last 1 million miles but currently battery chemistry used by tesla only lasts for about um, a little bit ago i said uh, 100 to 200,000 miles but some people say it can even last up to 500,000 miles which is approximately 1500 cycles circles cycles it depends on the usage so for example model 3 drive unit and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life currently battery modules should last 300 to 500 thousand miles 1500 cycles of charging replacing modules not pack will only cost five thousand to seven thousand dollars wrote elon musk on twitter in 2019 why the single crystal cathode patent titled method for synthesizing nickel cobalt aluminum electrode is so significant is explained in greater details um, by youtuber the limited factor i recommend looking at that uh, um, youtube report where the main points are a battery with a single crystal cathode will suffer less degradation that means simply your this type of battery will suffer less degradation which is great with the right electrolyte solution and additives such a battery could cycle 4000 times remember a little bit ago we were talking about 1500 cycles this can be cycled 4000 times at least three times more the patent processes are not limited to the use of nickel cobalt aluminum chemistry that means basically um, this i think will be a cobalt free battery and cobalt is expensive so when we summarize made of nickel cobalt and aluminum the genius of the single crystal cathode is in its simplicity 
How, uh, how simple? Instead of using a polycrystalline structure made of many crystal phos together, the single crystal cathode is made of larger single crystal that all face the same way instead of in many different directions. This is important because as the limiting factor notes in his YouTube channel, as a lithium ion battery charges and discharges, lithium ions enter and exit the space between those rows of atoms which cause individual crystals to expand and contract. This creates stress at the crystal borders because the crystal structure is aligned in different directions and therefore expands and contracts in different directions. Over time, the polycrystalline structure tears itself apart of the seams, the crystal disintegrates and the battery fails. Larger single crystals don't suffer this problem inherent in polycrystalline structures because as the rows of atoms are facing the same direction in every part of the crystal, they don't suffer the same amount of stress. Even better, with the right coating and additives, they can last for thousands of cycles, adds the limiting factor creator video. But there is more. Although the title of the patent refers to nickel cobalt aluminum as the materials used in the patent, it's important to note that it is the method, not the materials that are significant. This is important because the wording of the patent intentionally leaves room for use of a cobalt-free chemistry. Remember a little bit ago I said that it will be a cobalt-free battery. So this is important because the wording of the patent intentionally leaves room for use of a cobalt-free chemistry, which would potentially reduce the cost of making battery cells and also allow Tesla to move away from sourcing material from an industry that is known for uh, child labor known for uh, for very questionable practices as limiting factor creator notes fellow inventors of the patent Hong Yang Li and Jing Li have also worked together on a cobalt free chemistry that means a cobalt free battery the patent also discusses what is different about Tesla's patent that enables it to be patented namely the way in which it says it can make the single crystal NCA material to make single NCA crystal, high temperatures must be reached. Unfortunately, this can create excess reactions between the lithium and other materials, resulting in a low purity material and therefore a less energy dense battery. How Tesla achieves this is explained in depth in the video. So, uh, suffice to say here that Tesla's battery research team have solved this problem in a two step process. Importantly, the patent also states in paragraph 14 that the process can be repeated with a range of other materials such as aluminum, nickel, cobalt, manganese, and magnesium. Quote, it is worth noting that these are the same materials that Hong Yang Li and Jeff Dan and Jing Li tested in the paper outlining cobalt-free battery, notes the limiting factor presenter. The single crystal cathode patent does not in itself mean Tesla has worked out how to make a battery that lasts 1.6 million kilometers or a million mile battery. The patent does show that single crystal cathodes clearly degrade more slowly as mentioned above. It will also need to use the right electrolyte and additives. The limiting factor suggests that Tesla will use a titanium coating that could extend battery life even more more than the single crystal cathode alone and notes that Don and his team have been working on such a coding. He also notes that Tesla may also have an alternative battery additives to lithium uh, diflu-phosphorate, which he says is the most effective additive on the market for extending battery cycle life. With lithium, uh, difurofrosate would, um, would be useful additive. It is patented by Mitsubishi Chemical Corporation and would therefore be very expensive to use. However, the limiting factor believes that Tesla could be filing a patent instead of sodium difurofrosate. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing this word uh, right. In a paper that reviewed electrolyte design published in Cell by Jeff Dunn and research associate E.R. Logan in April, he notes that recent work has identified new 
lee salts and other additives that form for, for uh, favorable SEI layers for the fast charging such as difolofosate phosphate. I expect Tesla has filed a patent for this and they'll be making this in-house as well, says the limiting factor. I also think that Tesla will make its batteries in-house and uh, we're going to see probably more information coming uh, in, during the battery day, friends. And But in the meanwhile, you know, keep in mind that I just reported a little bit ago and uh, uploaded the video on our channel that market analysts say Tesla may be getting close to pinning down a date for its highly anticipated Tesla battery day as rumors emerge of a new partnership within lithium-ion battery testing equipment supplier Novo Nix. If you would like to hear more for that, please um, look in our channel in the latest videos. And in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. We're bringing you developing stories about Tesla battery day, Tesla Giga Berlin and Giga factories, as well as electric cars. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video to show your appreciation and support of our channel and also of the people who helped me to bring these stories and chronicle Tesla batteries and Giga Berlin and Giga factories in this channel. And I would greatly appreciate that. Have a wonderful day, friends. Take good care of your families. Stay well, stay safe. And I'll See you in our next report. See you soon.